Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're going to start our NBA series, and we're going to discuss today how LeBron is such an elite understanding of the game and how he exploits it to create advantages for the Lakers. Let's go. So the first thing is every single time the Lakers are in transition, LeBron looks to create opportunities for his team. And the way he really likes to do it is either you attack at the rim or you get somebody matching up on you like CJ McCollum who isn't normally matched up on you. And this creates an advantage situation because one-on-one CJ McCollum is going to have a lot of time. So the Pelicans have to respond in some way or the other. And that is where LeBron capitalizes. So first off, we can see that him backing down right here. He is trying to essentially create this space and for somebody to make a movement to come help CJ McCollum out. Otherwise, he's going to have an open layup is what he's trying to claim. Okay, so again, they move the ball around once, but he just essentially uses it to repost up. Okay, and an instant. A great reaction is he sees this super, super quick. When this ball comes back in, he notices the Pelicans are out of rotation because they helped over earlier. This leaves Austin Reeves corner, a wide open pass, and a wide open three created from LeBron's IQ. Again, we can see LeBron looking to push in transition. Him looking to push in transition creates opportunities once again. So the Pelican defenders, there are two over here, and there are three Lakers players. So what does LeBron do? He needs to make sure Zion is essentially paying attention to him. Okay, so as he takes a couple steps right here, he engages Zion, and then he recognizes Anthony Davis has to be priority number one. So this Pelicans defender has to stay with Anthony Davis. So who's going to be open? D'Angelo Russell on the wing. And again, a perfectly timed pass, great location, and another open three. All right, again. LeBron moving the ball in transition. Okay, he goes ahead and he goes at the defender that he wants to make sure he keeps on him. Okay, so he's looking for this defender to stay on him right here. So he engages with him, makes sure he stays with him, and then lets the defense essentially or the offense space out. Okay, so he brings his defender out with him to perimeter, and this is where he's going to look to exploit again. Austin Reeves, Reeves cuts to the other side, which is 100% the right thing to do. Give LeBron open space to work with. Okay, and LeBron goes to back down. Okay. So for one, I don't know what Austin Reeves is doing in this situation. He should definitely not be chilling in this spot that is guaranteed. Somebody should probably be up here to create maximum spacing issues on defense. But because Austin Reeves is kind of lurking in no man's land and or going towards another Lakers player for some reason, there's not great spacing from the Lakers and the Pelicans can kind of guard everyone. However, LeBron still manages to make an unbelievable skip pass to the corner and it again leads to another open Laker three. And then our final example, and while LeBron's not pushing this ball in transition, because the Lakers are going one-on-one -on -one and LeBron isn't just coasting on the perimeter, he's engaging with his defender right away. He is making sure that this defender has to stay with him. So again, he's posting up, and this time Austin Reeves isn't going to be lurking over here for some reason. He's going to be spread out over here. Okay, so when LeBron gets the double. Okay, so Austin Reeves cuts and his defender goes with him. So that means that Austin Reeves is going to be temporarily open or at least have a speed advantage with Jonas trying to cover him while he's going full speed downhill. So he gets the ball there. This forces Pelicans more rotation on defense, and Austin Reeves is able to keep the dribble alive, find out where the help came from, and it leads to another open Lakers three. In general, LeBron sees the game so, so well, and he provides so much value for the Lakers because of it, not just his physical ability, but his IQ as well. If you enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe. Bless.